Uh, a very good morning to you. You're just in time for BizCheck here on KBC Channel 1. Now we thank you for your valued company. My name is Betty Kiptum and my colleague on the sign language interpretation is Simon Carotha. Now during these next two hours we shall be having conversations around matters renewable energy as well as poultry farming. You might want to stand by for that as well as just updates from various reporters who are on the ground following up on various stories. To start us off is the conversation on matters renewable energy in Kenya and just how more Kenyans can take up this alternative source of energy and ensure that their homes are lit and, and powered, you know, by solar as well as wind. And to discuss this is engineer Kamal Gupta. He is the chair of the Kenya Renewable Energy Association. Welcome on set. Thank you very much, Betty. Karibu sana. Now, let's just start with um, uh, an overview of how renewable energy is in Kenya, if you could. Definitely. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for taking this most important topic mm -hmm. as we all understand that access to energy is an interesting subject for every Kenyan. Mm -hmm. uh, government has taken this as an initiative that by 2022, every Kenyan get an access of energy. Mm -hmm. And in this regard, the private sector is there with the help of various modern technologies from renewable energy to bring values which is affordable and at the same time long lasting and that is where we are as private sector working towards and uh, Kenya Renewable Energy Association is primarily an association of various technologies of renewable energy and bringing value for our Kenyans those are actually far and looking for uh, access to energy as I mentioned about specifically global and universal access to energy in Kenya by 2022 in that regard together with government initiative which is primarily bringing uh, various uh, renewable energy technology to every individual to get access to energy and clean cooking as well. Mm -hmm. So in that particular uh, broader picture we are bringing that kind of facilitation to bring a lot of various ways and means where affordable and long lasting mm -hmm. source of energies would be available mm -hmm. to the people. And what options are these that are available for Kenyans? Yes, uh, primarily most comfortable option is always been seen as in solar mm -hmm. where solar energy and solar equipments are uh, easily transportable and available because sun is every nook and corner and we are very blessed being on equator we are getting more number of hours and more energy from sun to harvest into electrical energy and even uh, thermal energy as well because you know uh, solar water heating is another topic then after there are other ways also for people at large is bioenergy that is something which is now taking a very good shape in the country mm -hmm. by providing various uh, uh, waste to energy is another topic where bioenergy is combining together and bringing not only various kind of charcoals or maybe briquettes which are actually waste and then converting into the energy mm 